Main man, made man, back at it. Y'all know how I get down. We talking boxing. You know, sitting here riding, going to see the big fight tonight. Headed to the spot where I'm going to watch the fight. You know what? It hit me like a ton of fucking bricks to give a fucking prediction. Sorry, folks. But I got to get on record here, man, for official prediction of the Cotto Canelo fight. Ladies and gentlemen, I have watched these fighters up and down, all around. I've seen the weigh-in. That was the final piece to my puzzle. And it brought me to my conclusion on who's going, I believe, going to win this fight tonight. Now, first off, before I get to that, let me just say. I'm pretty, I'm pretty aware of the pros and cons of each fighter. I've, I mean, I'm, I'm very aware of such. I'm very aware. Now, the, I, I, I look at the last uh, few fights from each fighter, and I definitely got to say Canelo Alvarez's victories and opponents hold more weight with me. Let me just start by that. I don't think Cotto's last few fights, I think they were all frauds. I think they were very, very deceptive. I think they were done what they were supposed to do and that's get them to this fight get them to a big fight of this magnitude and it worked i thought the gill fight gill was fighting at a catch weight on top of all of that he's not even the top level competitor let's just be real here even though he's a good competitor but he's not a top level guy you know what i mean but you know it was impressive how Cotto did get that victory Especially fighting the guy at 157 pounds, which is heavier than he's fighting tonight. At a heavier weight than he's fighting tonight, which is 155. But still wasn't an A-level competitor. I thought the Sergio fight, come on, don't make me laugh. You fought a one-legged, broken-up Sergio Martinez. After the fight, uh, you know, I mean, Sergio, we all know what that Chavez Jr. fight did to Sergio Martinez. The man was hobbling around the fucking ring for all of the fight he may can't use it as an excuse but we all on the outside looking in seeing that fucking atrocity and then not to mention what happened in the negotiations the, the handicapping and that shit so he took the belt up off a very injured broken up fighter okay before that what was it Rodriguez or something somebody who shouldn't even been in the ring with Cotto a, a confidence builder if you will because he was coming off those losses against Mayweather and Trout and he was pondering retirement. So this is what they do in boxing. They got to get that guy's confidence back up to see if they can still compete. And those fights, to me, doesn't hold the same weight as Canelo Laura, in which, however you may view it, it was a close, razor thin fight. I did give it to Canelo. I thought that Laura staying away from Canelo was too detrimental. I thought the body work of Canelo did kick in in the later rounds and uh at that particular fight it was for that 155 like tonight's fight is so we see that canelo went 12 rounds with the most moving fighter in boxing which was laura and he didn't gas now he had to chase laura but he wasn't nearly as confrontational he didn't have to let his hands go he likes to punch in bunches now and he didn't have to do that that fight so that's the reason i think he hung in there so long with laura but the fact of the matter is, that's another piece of strategy, I think, that's not going to help Miguel Cotto tonight. Miguel Cotto and Freddie Roach, they both like the drain guys. And you're, you're talking about a fighter who, fighting him at a 155 catchweight, I don't think would be as detrimental. We know Canelo balloons up to the 170s. We all know that. He's a big kid. But looking at the weigh-in, I don't think he looked nearly as drained as a lot of people thought. And he's fought at this weight with within a what a fight or so ago, so I don't think it'll be as detrimental. And he performed very well, very very well. Sure, he ballooned up on Kirkland also, but he also fought Kirkland at a catch weight. The power is real, man. The power is there. He hits extremely hard at these higher weights, y'all. And also, even in the Angulo fight, look what he did to Angulo. This is the same Angulo who just, what, a fight or so before that gave Laura hell. Gave Arislandy Laura hell. Some people even say may have, would have beaten Laura if that fight wasn't stopped. You know, so, I mean, look at how Canelo disposed of these guys. You go to the similar fight that they have in mind, other than Mayweather, since they both lost to Mayweather. But you go to the Austin Trout fight. Now, however you may believe, I actually believe Trout beat Canelo. The judges didn't see it my way. I don't know what the fuck they were watching. 
But the fact still remains that fight was close enough to some people may go either way with it or draw. But it was a close, razor thin fight. The Cotto Trout fight wasn't close. And don't give me that shit about, uh, they just ruled like that because he was Canelo and he was a Golden Boy fighter. Because you telling me Miguel Cotto, I mean, that Canelo's name was bigger than Cotto's name? No, Cotto got a, a ass whooping. And it was convincing enough f- for all of it to go Lars, I mean, to go Trout's way. And none of us fans even questioned that decision. Because I believe Miguel Cotto has been fooling and deceiving the boxing public his last few fights. And now he's reached a point where I think the jig is up. The jig is up. Some say he let that belt go. Some say for the sanction and fees because it was a shakedown. Some say to avoid Triple G because he know damn well he wasn't going up to 160. He was just frauding and fucking deceiving. Those fights did what they were supposed to do. Hell, it got him another big deal with Rock Nation. It got him paid. He's clearing 15 mil in the purse tonight. He got his ass paid. Kept him relevant. But that's another reason why, in my opinion, ladies and gentlemen, I will give this fight, my official prediction, to Canelo Alvarez by stoppage. They are fighting for different ambitions. Canelo is fighting to be great, to do something great, to go into the history books, to step into his own. Cotto is fighting for money and relevance at this point. That's all he's fighting for. That plays a major part. Cotto believes he's the ultimate A-side. I honestly believe he thinks in his mind even if he loses to Canelo, that he will still go on and make big money because he's Miguel fucking Cotto. That's what I believe. I think Rock Nation was, well, I ain't gonna say they were foolish for signing them to that deal because Cotto is who he is. He'll draw out a crowd no matter what. But I just think that the ambitions are different. Skill level wise, I don't think, I think the power of Canelo will be the biggest X factor. Cotto does not have 25-year-old legs to move around the ring nearly as much. I think if Canelo can cut the ring off against Laura, the most moving fighter in the business, the most moving boxer in the business, and slow down Laura, Cotto's legs are not nearly as good. His movement is not nearly as good. And he will be forced to be more confrontational with Canelo. And I think Canelo, he has issues with defense, in my opinion. He does get hit a lot. And though Cotto can pack a good punch, I don't know if he can take the same in return. Because Canelo will counter. And he will counter with combinations. He will go from down to up, from down to up. It will happen, folks. I'm sorry. And I don't think Cotto, though he may can ditch it, I don't think he'll be able to take it. And that's why I give this victory to Canelo Canelo Alvarez tonight by 10th round stoppage. 10th round stoppage. I think the jig is up with Cotto. It's up. And it's time for him now to pay the fucking piper. His time has run out. Roach and him can't drain this guy. This guy fights. He's fought at this weight, this catch weight before. And he's looked very impressive. And it hasn't been that long ago. This kid is getting better with every fight. I've watched Canelo getting more better and better with every fight. He's fought different style of fighters. Moving fighters. And he won. Stand in front of you fighters. And he won. And hard punches, might I add. Though Angulo may be slow and predictable. He's still a pretty hard puncher. Same with James Kirkland. Though he was out of the ring over a year... And he was without Ann Wolf. I get it, folks. But the fact still remains. He shouldn't have got his ass whooped that goddamn bad. And that shows the power of Canelo. This 
is what Canelo has been wanting. This is he wanted Mayweather, and he thought he may have could have got it with Mayweather, but he didn't because he got his ass whooped. But this is his second crack at greatness, man. And I just don't think that kid is gonna let it slide and pass. I know Oscar is definitely hoping for such because if Canelo loses tonight, Golden Boy is in a shitload of trouble. <laughs> Let's just go. So that's my prediction, man. Um, now, don't get me wrong, folks. Don't think I'm ragging on Cotto. I just don't think this is the same Cotto that a lot of people think. Everybody's going on with Cotto's done in the past. I think after those Margarito fights and as well as the Pacquiao fights, it's been a different Cotto since, in my opinion. Those fights did something to Miguel Cotto, especially that first Margarito fight and that, and, that, and that Pacquiao fight. The second Margarito fight, Margarito was a shot fighter. He had bad eyes. He had other injuries he was nursing. He was fucked up. So Cotto looked very impressive in that fight. He got baited into a rematch. I'm glad he got his redemption. But still, I just don't think that this Cotto is the same Cotto of Shane Mosley, you know, of Chop Chop Corley. Uh, of Yuri Foreman. I don't think this is that same guy. And I could be wrong, but I just think we were being deceived these last few fights. So we'll see how my prediction pans out. I will be uploading directly after the fight, y'all. I am geeking to see this fight en route to it now. Tune in right here directly after the fight. Man, I will be giving my post-fight reaction to this, man. And I'm hoping for fireworks. So we'll see. To the next video, Main Man Made Man. Don't forget to subscribe. Twitter, Made Man 511. Facebook, Main Man Made Man Boxing Forum. Let's hope for a good one tonight uh, because honestly, boxing needs this pay per view. And I'll talk about that later in my next video. To the next video. Peace out.